So I've got a couple couple rods with me. I've got uh, my three weight, and I just put on this little kind of uh, it's a leech with it's on a jig hook. You kind of see it's green, little tinsel hair, and I got that on a floating line. And down in the holster, I've got. Let me grab that for you here. Ooh, hook sharp hook. <laughs> I have got, uh, it's like a little, uh, you know, a little crayfish, crayfish pattern and on an indicator. So I'm thinking because it's kind of a, you know, grassy, muddy setting that, uh, these little critters might be scurrying around and the fish might want to eat it. But for now, I'm going to start off with the little leech. And this thing is, uh, a lot clearer than I anticipated pretty stealthful here. Let's see. One thing I gotta be careful of, I know that just one step I can disappear. Sounds like there's some duck hunters or pheasant hunters. Kind of nice. Barbed wire is uh, is definitely the waiter's worst enemy. So it's kind of nice to have a ladder. Not seeing any fish. It's pretty shallow. Might be worth just kind of throwing a cast in here. But I was up above there looking down and I didn't see anything. It doesn't mean though they can be pretty, pretty camouflaged. So I guess it's possible there might be something in here. Just, whoa, that's not, that's not stable footing. I'm just waiting to step in a great big hole. I like to avoid that if all possible. I'm trying to see if I see any fish. It's really, really shallow. I'm not seeing any right now. Water looks good, really nice clarity. I'm not seeing any fish. Seems to be a little deeper spot. I'm gonna run this, I can never, I keep calling it. Yeah, now I don't know if it's a crayfish or a crawfish, but you know what I mean. So <laughs> I've got this little pattern here that I'm gonna run through this hole. It looks a little deeper. I think I got a good uh, good idea of how how far it should be down. I'm gonna run that under an indicator. It's not really moving too much here. All right, time to move on. Let's keep walking up. See if we can find a fish. It's kind of an area to where it's pooled in. Still not seeing any fish. big pool here. Lots of stuff. 
in my way. Guides are frozen. That certainly doesn't help. Oh, that was a fish. We grabbed it. That's a good sign. There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Holy crap. Holy smokes, this fish is huge. Oh no. Oh no, that was a huge fish. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, that thing was massive. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, and he came unhooked. Oh, man. Oh, that was a big fish. Wow. Like, that looked like 16 inches at least. Oh, I don't know if you saw it down there, but I did. And that was a good-sized fish. Well, I did have a couple fish. One big one lost. And another one back. I'm just going to uh, see, see what this indicator setup will do. My little, my little friend on the end. Fucking tree. Shit. Yeah, well, I knew that was gonna happen at some point today. Uh, I walked up quite a ways, just looking for some deeper water. Here's that I found some here. There we go. Oh, 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 I had a fish again. Oh, I worked for that one too. Uh, dang it. Definitely not easy fishing. I am on the move, trying to find another big kind of deep pool. Man, there's really tight spaces in here, it's super tight. Now I know why I probably should get a fly rod that's maybe seven and a half feet of my arsenal. Because at eight and a half feet, it's just too much rod. But yeah, I'm gonna keep hiking up a little ways and since I gave that spot some time to rest, I might go back down and that big pool. I did have uh, one fish on and one cake. So that's a good sign. All right, let's hike a little ways up here and it'll probably head back. Not a lot of room here. Sheesh. bit of an opening here. Let's see what happens. Wow, there's just literally no room to cast. So I'm gonna have to uh, figure out a new place. It's pretty shallow right here. Fish seem to be sitting in the deeper holes, but 
yeah, there's like literally no room at all to get the uh, fly rod out. Wow, tight spaces. Coming up on another pool. It's usually a good fish holding spot. Water's nice and oxygenated. It's always been a tough word for me to say. All right. This is always a little bit sketchy. Try not to disturb things too much here. There we go. Oh, stick. <laughs> Shit. Thought that was a fish. Oh, stick fish. There we go. Is that a fish or a stick? It's a stick, jeez. It's amazing how these sticks can feel like fish. Grief. There we go, that's a fish. Oh, look at that thing. Oh shit, that thing is huge. Is it gonna come in for me? Is it gonna come in? Come on, baby. Get him the net. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at this specimen. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my heart is still is pounding. Unbelievable. What is, that is just crazy. Oh my God. I just don't, you know, I feel like there's gonna be only one that size in, in this small of a hole. You never know. Oh, I don't know if that was a fish or the ground. I've caught two sticks and a fish. There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Another flunker. Oh, come on, baby. Stay on, stay on. Oh, yes. Oh my God, look at this fish. Time to let this guy go. Beautiful fish. Oh my God. Wow. I am completely speechless. So, you know, I've caught red band before, but I've never caught one that's that yellow. You know, I can't imagine that there's any more fish in this tiny little hole so i caught uh, just as many sticks as i did fish but man those fish were gorgeous all right guys see you see you on the next trip